Ooh, are you ready for this one? This one is difficult. Practicing forgiveness, being willing to forgive. Now I know a lot of this stems from people who are like, nope, it, sorry, this is where I draw the line because I've been hurt before. People don't deserve to be forgiven. People don't deserve to be forgiven. Well, here's the thing. You're only, okay, this is what I'm gonna say. And this is a lesson I've been learning myself. I'm telling you what I just had an epiphany on recently. I didn't think I was gonna say it, but here's the truth. If you choose to not forgive someone, you are practicing self-harm. Because holding on to resentment is eating you alive. And it's eating other relationships in your life alive. Because you're holding something over somebody's head, whether it's deserved or not. Forgiveness frees you. And the greatest friendships are ones where they know they're going to make mistakes. The other person's going to make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. And I desperately want to show forgiveness to the level that I want from somebody else. If you're someone that faith is important to you, then you understand the importance of forgiveness from that perspective. But even if not, forgiveness is imperative in great relationships because everybody is unintentionally or intentionally, doesn't matter, going to get hurt by somebody else. But holding on to resentment doesn't actually protect you. It makes you more vulnerable and susceptible to these crazy thoughts and stories that you write about others and makes you always feel like you're under attack when really it all started with one small act, probably choosing to not forgive somebody. It's like a weed that just grows. And so I want to challenge all of us to actually right now, think of somebody that you're having trouble forgiving and write it down. And start thinking about them in a different light. I don't know. This is a hard challenge, right? But what if, we, what if we wrote down the name of somebody that we're having trouble forgiving and say, I forgive, insert their name. I forgive them and I release them from the pain that they caused me. Because... At this point, I get to choose whether I stay hurt or not, and I choose to not be hurt anymore. I choose to forgive them, which doesn't mean forget, but forgive means releasing that burden from yourself and from them. So that possible restoration and reconciliation can happen. Now, I'm not saying that in all cases, reconciliation or restoration should happen. Depending on the severity of this, there could absolutely be healthy boundaries that need to be established. But at the end of the day, even if this person isn't going to be in your life anymore, you can choose. You have the power and autonomy and ultimately freedom to forgive somebody and be released of the pain that they caused you. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that that's actually in our power and control that we get to decide us. Maybe somebody took something from you, but you can take your power back by choosing forgiveness.